The engineer's approach to dimensional analysis is firmly rooted in the philosopher's and mathematician's approach. We will consider the case of a rough sphere. This has diameter d and bump height epsilon. The first step is to decide which variables you want to measure. In this case, we'll measure drag, and then decide the variables which could have some influence on the problem. The variable we're measuring is called the dependent variable, and the variables that influence the problem are called the independent variables. In this case, they are rho, the density of the fluid, mu, the viscosity of the fluid, v, the speed of the fluid around the ball, d, the diameter of the ball, and epsilon, the bump height. Now count up the number of dimensions and subtract this from the total number of variables. In this case, there are six variables, and there are three man-made measurements. And these are meters, seconds, and kilograms. And that means that there will be three dimensionless numbers in this problem. The third step is to create these dimensionless numbers. There are often several ways to do this, but it is best to use standard dimensionless numbers, such as the Reynolds number, and these can be found in data books. And we've come across these already in previous chapters. The dependent dimensionless number is the drag coefficient, CD. This is the drag divided by a half rho v squared times some area, which is d squared. And the independent dimensionless numbers are the Reynolds number, which is rho v d upon mu, and the relative roughness, epsilon divided by d. So having chosen our dimensionless numbers, step four is to create an experiment or numerical calculation to measure the dependent variable, cd, as a function of the Reynolds number and epsilon upon d, the relative roughness, and then plot out the results. This is a figure we've seen already, in which CD is plotted on the vertical axis, Reynolds number on the horizontal axis, for various different values of epsilon over D. In this case, epsilon over D increases in the direction of the arrow.